Hello everyone, I'm Paul Polino and I'm glad to see you again. Today I want to talk to you about a subject that still confuses a lot of people, textile density in visual effects. How can we make sure to have enough UV resolution for our assets? How many UDIMs do I really need? If you have been asking yourself these questions lately, I think this video can help you out. If you are painting textures into UVs, defining a correct textile density matters because we don't want to run into these two scenarios. The first one is not having enough resolution, which will give us blurred textures. The second scenario is also problematic when we have way more UDIMs than we really need. This can cost a lot of resources and time for the pipeline to process all this information. Or if you're working by yourself, it can just be a hassle to process all that data in your home computer. To help you find the right resolution for your project, I'm going to show you one of the workflows I used in Maya in 2018 with their UV native tools. But don't worry, you can replicate the same process in any software that you want. One thing I've learned over the years is that textile density is not an exact science. It would depend on a lot of factors and needs, which can change all the time. Also, every company has their own way to define resolution, so the methods I share today might differ a bit. But for your personal assets, it's going to work just fine. And before we begin, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with your friends. Your support is so awesome that it has an 8K resolution to it. Did you like my nerdy joke? No? Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's, let's do it. Before we start messing with our UVs, we need to define how close to the camera your asset will get. This is the most important information we need, and it must be as accurate as possible to avoid redoing some of your work. In production, we usually have someone telling us that, but if you're working on a personal project, you gotta do that yourself. For this video, I'm gonna use my gas mask project, and in this scenario, I want it to be a hero asset. The first thing I'll do in Maya after loading my object is to turn my resolution gate and gate mask. This is going to help us envision our final resolution output. My final render resolution is just a basic Full HD, 1920 by 1080, or to make it easier to understand, we're going to call it 2K. If you want to tweak yours, you can just go to your render settings and change it there. Now I'm going to select my camera and change my focal length to something like 85 millimeters. I want to make sure my camera is not distorting when I get closer. Now I'm going to choose a piece of the gas mask as a reference to how close I want to get. The circular mouthpiece seems perfect. Let's imagine that I want the camera to get this close to the mouthpiece. Considering our 2K resolution gate, we need to calculate how much space the mouthpiece will take on this area, and then we're going to double that resolution in our UV space. To make it easy to calculate this value, I'm going to turn on this field chart. Now I can roughly estimate that my mouthpiece takes a quarter of the 2K screen, which is 500 pixels or 512 pixels to keep it within the power of two. If we double that value, we know now that we need at least 1K worth of resolution in our UV space. Again, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, this is just an estimate. In my experience, we usually end up with more resolution than we need in the end. Uh, I think it's always better to have more than the opposite, but it's also important to avoid going overboard and end up with a crazy amount of tiles. Now that we have the exact number, it's going to be super easy to set up our final textual density. I'll go to my UV editor here and open this UV token. This is only available on Maya 2018 and the newer versions of Maya. Let's open the Arrange and Layout tab now and search for the Measure tool. I'm going to select the mouthpiece UV shell, I'm going to click on Measure, and let we see this pop up. Here we can see the U and the V distance of our selected shell. If I select the shell up or down and recalculate, we can see what's happening. Since we established in the previous step that we need at least 1K worth of resolution inside my tile, I'm going to scale the shell up until I hit a value closer to that number. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And since I want this asset to have consistent UVs across the whole piece, and now I have the resolution info that I need, I'm going to transfer these values to the other objects by using another handy tool in the UV toolkit. And before we transfer these values, I want you to know something about the measure tool in Maya. I noticed that it doesn't work well when you use it with multiple shells selected. So for better results, establish the size by selecting only one at a time. Before I forget, to make sure I have the correct resolution, I'm going to use the simple UV checker I found online to compare my results. I left the link in the description for you. Now I'm going to open the Transform tab and search for Text Density. I'm going to select the UV shell source and then click Get to get the resolution that I need. Now I'm going to find another object to transfer the same density. 
I think this back piece here looks good for our test. So I'm going to select and click set and boom. You can also select multiple objects and do your transfer, which is great. If I had a situation where I had tiles that didn't fit inside the squares, I would have to cut them into pieces and then fit them inside multiple UDIMs. Now I want to show you a very specific UV case that happened when I was working on this project. In my reference, the top part of this mask was made of cloth. So I wanted to cut the seams just like the real life model. This was going to make my life easier in texturing. And later on, I could just plug in a tileable cloth texture and call it a day. But as you can see, if I use the same resolution from the other pieces, I would have to cut the shell to fit the multiple squares. And that was going to be a huge problem. So the solution was given to me by my mentor at the time, Justin Holt. He advised me to scale down the shell by half. Then in Mari, if I needed more resolution, I could use 8K resolution maps and then keep the rest in 4K. This way, the whole asset would keep its consistency and I would not lose details in the process. Another thing I would like to mention before we go into Mari is that some artists prefer to work with fewer UDIMs and then they scale up the texture resolution in Mari to something like 8K. Other artists, and I'm included, they prefer to work with more UDIMs and then they lower the texture resolution with something like 4K or 2K. Being honest, I just do anything that I can to stay away from 8K textures. It just slows me down quite a lot. And I think this is just a personal preference. Okay, now I brought my new gas mask into Mari. And I also created a version of the same model with the UV scale down by 0.1. So we can compare the resolution difference. For this experiment, I'm going to isolate my mouthpiece in both objects and then try to project the high res mask that I have. I'm going to start by projecting to the low res version. I'll just stump this mask right in and bake. As you can see, we lost a lot of detail, even with a high res image. Now let's do the same thing with a high res version. I'm going to do the same process and bake. Awesome. As you can see, we kept enough detail that it's going to hold for the distance we established in Maya. As I said before, texture density is one of those concepts that are not always clear and they're going to depend on a lot of factors, especially if you're working in, on a team in production. So if you want to get better at it, practice by changing the UV size of your projects, bring them into Mari or Substance. And if your textures are looking blurred after you bake them, you probably need more resolution. And that was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and share this with all your, your UV nerd friends, if there is such a thing. And as always, I see you next week.